Hello and welcome to Let's Play Gothic 2. Okay. You hardly know who to believe these days. You didn't get that from me. No. I never would have thought I hardly know who to believe. What do you want from me? To me? I didn't know that. I want to join the mercenaries. Oh, and why do you think I should be in favor of you being accepted here? He doesn't even know how to hold us so differently. Put me to the test. Did Lee send you to me? He said you would help me. Fine, so here we go. There are two things you have to do before you can join us. First, you have to prove that you're capable of mastering the task that you will have to fulfill as a mercenary. I'll put you to the test. And second, you have to earn the respect of the other mercenaries. Do you really believe that? Well, how can I earn the respect of the other mercenaries? For most of them, it'll be enough if you fulfill your task and pass my test. But you'll have to find some other way of convincing some of them. Some will try and exploit your situation, and others may not like your mug. You should try to get along with as many of the boys as possible. But if nothing else helps, then you can always take part in a duel. If you win, you'll earn the respect of most of them. But watch out that you don't kill one of them by accident, because then you'll have a big problem. No idea, so you tell me. What are the rules for a duel? Quite simple. Both opponents have to have the opportunity to draw their weapons before the first blow. You can't just go and belt one of the men without warning. There has to be some sort of spoken challenge, an insult, or another reason to fight. None of the other men will interfere in a fight like that, unless one of the two gets killed in the duel. Will it ever change? What about you? Will you vote me in? If you can prove that you can fulfill the duties of a mercenary, yes. That's not what I heard. Long time. You don't have to talk. How's my reputation among the mercenaries? Let's see. Sentenza will vote for you. He says you were a very reasonable man. Raul's against you. I think he can't stand you. I don't need to say anything about Silvio and Bolko. Those two morons are against everyone. Buster says you're okay. The rest of the mercenaries haven't said anything. Most of them are just waiting to see if you pass the test. You're far from done, kid. If you want us to accept you, you'll have to do something for it. What are my duties as a mercenary? Onar hired us for two reasons. He wants us to keep the militia off his back and he wants us to keep things in order on his farms. That includes collecting the rent when the small farmers won't pay. So, what'll it be? That was obvious all along. Tell me that as trouble as it is. Don't tell me you didn't know that. Let me collect the rent. Good. Listen, the farmer Sekov hasn't paid his rent to Onar for weeks. Onar wants him to cough up 50 gold pieces. Any questions? Where is Sekob's farm? In the north of the valley. Looking from here, that's to the right at the big crossroads. If you have problems, the farmers in the fields will help you find your way around the area. That will never change. Can you help me improve my abilities? I could show you how to use your strength better in close combat. A lot of fighters are very weak because they don't have the technique to use their strength properly. The same is true for dexterity and ranged weapons. He never would have thought of that himself. Okay. I want to improve my abilities. I'm gonna learn dexterity one. Five points. Good. Now you can use your abilities better. Yeah. That's what I didn't know that. I can take better well, like him. So, we must begin. Hey look, it's a wolf. Hey man, my helper. Doing alright? Hey, I know you, from the colony. What do you want here? I've come to join you. Why not? I've got nothing against it. 
Anyway, you freed our mind from the guards back then. But don't count on getting along with the others here so easily. A lot of newbies have come along since then. And some of the old mercenaries won't remember you. I almost didn't recognize you. You looked rather haggard. When the barrier fell, I barely got away with my life. Looks like you got lucky then. No idea. You tell me. Do you have anything to sell? Oh, don't ask. Bennett, one of the new guys, takes care of the weapons and armor now. In the colony, I was responsible for Lee's entire weapons store. And then along came a trained smith and pow, I'm out of a job. I desperately need a new job, even if all I do is guard the farms out there. I don't care, just as long as I'm not twiddling my thumbs here anymore. Can you teach me anything? I can teach you a few tricks in handling a bow if you want. I don't have anything better to do right now anyway. I want to learn more about archery. What should I teach you? There you go. Your aim is more accurate already. And? Found a new task yet? Not so far. Let me know if you have a job for me. No one really wants to hear that these days. Have you tried finding a job in town? In the city? <laughs> Wild horses couldn't drag me there. Or do you think I would want to work there as a militia soldier? I can just imagine myself in the courtier's uniform, and then that obsession with obedience. Nah, forget it. There may not be anything to do here on the farm, but at least I can do what I want. All right. Marksman. Nice, nice. I must talk for these mercenaries. How are things? Hey! Don't I know you from somewhere? It's possible. I used to deal in swamp weed back in the colony. Remember? I'm no better off myself. Doesn't surprise me. And what are you dealing in now? Ah, don't ask. I brought a whole package of swamp weed with me from the mining colony. Many of the mercenaries like a little smoke now and then. I've earned a small fortune on the side. But some bastard stole all the weed from my chest. I'm pretty sure it was that Bodo. He bunks in the same room as me, and he always grins at me like such an idiot. He insisted he knew better. That's the first I've heard of it. What are you going to do about the thief then? One of these days, I'll catch him puffing away on my weed, and then I'll find a quiet spot and teach him a lesson he won't forget. If I knock him down here in the middle of the yard, the other farmers will notice, and I'll pay an arm and a leg. How come? Quite simple. We can't rough up the farmers, otherwise Lee makes us pay a heavy fine. That's the way Onar wants it. And the more witnesses there are, the more of a fuss there is. That makes things more expensive. So I'll pull the thing off nice and inconspicuously. That's all just gossip. I want to join Lee's people. Lee's people? If Lee keeps on this way, they soon won't be his anymore. Why? Lee has always been a quiet one. It was that way in the colony, too. But lately, he's overdoing it. He just wants to sit here and wait until the paladins drop dead from starvation. Silvio thinks we should clean up a bit on the small farms and outside the city. I think that would make for an excellent change. At the moment, most of us are just twiddling our thumbs here. Do you want to join up anyway? things I could tell you. I want to become one of you no matter what. You already know that we take a vote on every new recruit. What are you hinting at? Well, I haven't had any of the smoke in a long time. Bring me a few swamp weed reefers and you got my vote. You can surely scare some up someplace. Do you have anybody to know who insisted he knew better? Nobody wants to know. Show me your wares. I don't have any swamp weed at the moment. Do you want something else? Oh, it's zero. I hardly know who to believe these days. And there's more, believe me. I don't think so. Yeah. I almost have four. I never told you you didn't know that. No 
Jumala, Junnu, niin se on meitä. Mitä se pitää olla täällä autossa? Mitä se on siellä? That's not what I heard. Oh, that. No. You can't rely on that. Needles. He never would have thought of that himself. What does? You don't have a talk to that. All that matters is that's all just gossip. Beast skin, shadow beast skin. Tell me that. Don't tell you anything new. That's really hard to know what to believe. So, yeah, hardly know what to believe. He said his stolen from me. I don't know what to believe anymore. That was obvious all along. You have to step in and sort. Cipher told me somebody stole a package of swamp weed from him, and he thinks you were the one who took it. Oh, that's why the guy is always gopping at me so stupidly. I've been extra friendly to him lately because he seems to have hit a rough spot. But there was nothing I could do. I'd look at him friendly-like and he'd stare at me like he wanted to kill me. Yeah, he really said that. That was quite obvious. Give me that weed or else. Listen, all I've got is this one reefer of weed. Take it and leave me alone. You know that Onar's mercenaries look out for us, right? So don't do anything stupid. Nobody ever asks for my opinion. I don't believe a word you're saying. Give me the swamp weed. I don't have it. Honest. Okay. All that matters is strength. So don't tell me that. I hardly know what to believe anymore. Oh, maybe something. Maybe it's a smoking. Interesting, you. Very interesting. What are you smoking there? Want a toke? Sure. Not bad, huh? Where did you get the stuff? It can't go on like this forever. You hardly know who to believe these days. That doesn't surprise me. You just have to believe I have my sources. Who said that? Do you do anything besides Do you do anything besides smoke? Not at the moment. That's all just gossip. Nothing amazes me anymore. I want to join the mercenaries. Do you mind? Who cares? Cypher told me that someone stole a package of swamp weed from him. <laughs> Would you know anything about that? No. Where's the package? What do I know? I'll knock it out of you. Relax, I'm way too stoned to fight with you. Here, first take a big toke. I'm not telling you anything new. I used to say that myself. That will only cause more trouble. I think he have it. What I cannot do? Give him my face. Just you what? Never pick a fight with me again. You lucky dick. Why is not music actually? Nobody ever asks me. Just you wait, you some bitch. <laughs> Never pick a fight with me again. I know you have back, back at you, dick. 
Just you wait, you some bitch. Never pick a fight Fuck with me. Fuck you. Nobody ever asks me. Just you. Never pick a fight with. Uh, I don't understand why you do a lot of critical hit. Just look how oh, many have damage. I gonna, I don't know. In this session, all I try to kill this dick. Nobody ever Why is it doing a lot of damage? Actually, he's strong, but why? I can. Put away that weapon. Smart kid. What a smart kid. Yes, run as fast as you can. What now I'm gonna do, eh? Yes, run as fast as you can. Another one of those scummy beasts.
actually I don't want to, to get him but we will see about dialogue actually I not I kill him hey about the swamp weed. Sort things out. Nobody wants to know. Tell me that you I used to say that myself. Here's a few stalks for you. Oh, you are my man. You've got my vote. Been there, done that. Still nervous. David, package. Oh, have it. I don't know why actually I got the idea to kill this dick. Yeah, I gonna I don't I don't wanna kill him. But I almost I actually not have the time to take him down. So I gonna end this episode. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and see you.